Hey guys, happy 2020. Welcome to the first video of the year. This is going to be an awesome year of cross stitch. I hope you guys have had a great holiday season and I hope you've been safe and I hope that you are today stitching or doing whatever it is that you want to do. But what we're doing today is this is going to be the first weekly update of the year, which is difficult because it is just the first day of the year. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, you can see that I, based on my last video where I did my my year in review, I've kind of reorganized my uh, all my different patterns and I kind of need to put them up in a way that maybe looks a little bit better than it does right now, but they're pretty much all up there. Uh, I need to take this down as well as the other, this other project downstairs, uh, make some copies of the pictures so I can put them up here and not have these things hanging up. By the way, I have an update on Scarlet Quince that I want to tell you guys about in here in just a second, but there's a couple things I want to get to first. The blog. Now, if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen it before, uh, I have a blog that uh, started off as a cross-stitching blog and has now morphed, expanded into other crafts and primarily just resources for other crafts. So on my, um, on my site, uh, stitchingjewels.com, and the link will be down below, uh, I had, or I have, a massive list of cross-stitching YouTube sites. It's over 600 different sites at this point. And I also now have a uh, list for crochet. Um, I'm working on one for quilting. We've got one for knitting. Um, just trying to add those kinds of sites. Also putting on lists of blogs, online stores for, again, for quilting and knit, knitting and crochet. Actually, I have it written down in a very fine did I miss anybody? Oh yeah, and then I've got like an et cetera section, like a like a bonus section. And I'm doing things like talking about coloring books, adult coloring books, um, audio books that I love, jigsaw puzzles, because I love jigsaw puzzles, but I don't have time to do them. But uh, I do like to talk about them. I do like to look at them. So uh, there's a lot of things coming up on the site. Also, I finally got a new logo. Um, i have done kind of a it was a kind of, uh, you know, logo. It was kind of a cheaper logo. Um, I finally paid for somebody to do a fun logo uh, for the front. I really like it. And uh, put it up, I think, this morning. And uh, it's, uh, it's brand new on the site. But anyway, stitchingjewels.com. Go check it out. The other thing is I also have a Pinterest page. I don't know if you guys realize this. Um, I've really only been going to Pinterest for about the last month and, and kind of gathering some resources and putting things on there. But... Again, I'll put a link down below, but if you are uh, already on Pinterest and you enjoy it, you can also just search for me, Stitching Jewels, uh, on there as well. I need to get a, um, a link to my Pinterest site on my, on my page, don't I? I do, I do. Um, all right, next up, I'm just going to show you what I've done, but like I said, stick around because I need to do a couple other bits of news, and one of which is a whole thing about Scarlet Quince, which we need to talk about. So, first up... Let's see what we've been working on. So after I filmed that whole end of 2019 video, I was like, oh man, okay, I need to, I really need to hone in on certain projects. So I think I did four, worked on four different projects this week and tried to really hammer a few home. Let's just go ahead and show you the one that I worked on last, which is the honeybee portrait, which I've moved everything around. So now I don't, oh, it's right up here. So now I don't know where anything is. So I'm still up in that corner. But I went and got some more work done on it. I pretty much just came down this side and filled in most of that side. Not a ton. I was working on it last night. And I ended up switching over and started working on the blog a lot more. Because I was, I was really into finding... I'm trying to move this chair forward. Quilting blogs. Because um, I found over 100 quilting blogs. Like recent current, current uh, quilting blogs that people are actually doing stuff on. And well, quilting is amazing. It's not, it's not what I do, but man, it's amazing. And my grandmother made a bunch of quilts for me when I was younger and that I have them here in the house. And it was something that she did. And I have, I know a lot of people that quilt and uh, anyway, it's beautiful. But anyway, so I started working on this and then I got sidetracked, but you can see where I'm at. I'm getting close to getting this first page done. And so definitely just going to be filling in all this stuff. It's using Pattern Keeper has helped so much on this on that particular project. It's ridiculous. All right, let's do some Reaper. We got some Reaper. Actually, I put Reaper over here, kind of over in the corner. And 
here we are. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. So came in on Reaper this week, filled in all of this, and then just added a little bit more all the way through there. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is the end of the page. So you can see I'm actually almost, not almost, but I'm getting towards the end of the page. And then this the last page is just going to be a partial page. So we've almost gotten this entire column done, which is absolutely amazing. Truly amazing. But anyway, so there it is. There's the whole reap. The whole of the reap. But it's... I, that was... Of all the pieces, I think Reaper is the one that I'm most proud of. Uh, I feel like in terms of overall percentage of project done, this is probably the one that saw more progress than anything else. Uh, which is good, because it really isn't that difficult. It's just focusing on it, right? Just getting it done and focusing on it. Next up is Randy Waterloo Place. And what I did was I gridded the rest of the page so I could move down on the page a little bit. I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I've done. I filled in a bunch more stuff, gridded the rest, and then started filling in down through here. Because um, the little nitpicky stitches that I still had to do up here, I need to use the same floss color for down here. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just grid, start moving down, and I'll fill this in as I stitch this. So... We're getting so close to, again, finishing this row. And this thing is coming along. I mean, by the end of, definitely by the end of January, we should see the end of, what end? We should see the beginning of another row on Rainy Waterloo Place, as well as Reaper. So I'm happy about that. We're making some good progress on those. Uh, finally, 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 Old World Map 2. Finally got back on that. Um, and, uh, oh boy, do I need to, I got so much confetti stitching to do, but if you remember last time, uh, pretty much I filled in all of this up here and then I just pocket filled in all a bunch of down here and then down through here. So you can see all the little bits and bobs that I need to finish up. And that probably will take me a couple of weeks to finish that, but it's looking really close to the final portion of what it is and then just on to the next page and I did show you guys well let me show you the whole thing this is if you're new to my craziness here wee, wee. Um, let me show you because I didn't show you guys this I always like to show this I show it like once a year whenever I do my end year and this is the project book for old world map 2 so the next page is page 15 and it's very similar to the current page in terms of the the stitching and ugh, all the different colors and stuff that I'm going to need. We'll get there. We'll get there. But anyway, but it's just, uh, I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous. I mean, if you just look at all those pages. It's like 200 and, 230 pages or something. But yeah, I neglected to show you guys that on the last one. And uh, so now I'm now I'm there. Okay, uh, all right, so showed you my pieces. Um, I just need to stitch more. We all know I need to stitch more. Uh, what was I gonna show you? I was gonna, I need to talk about Scarlet Coins. So one of the things that uh, I discovered this week when I was looking through some different things, oh no, that's not even true. I got an email from Scarlet Coins uh, and they said, hey, you know, come check out our stuff. Christmas, New Year's sale or something like that. So I hopped on and I took a look at what's new on their stuff. I had totally missed out on the fact that they have added their own app to their website. It's an app that is very similar to Pattern Keeper. It's free, and but it only works with uh, Scarlet Quinn's projects. And you have to use the same device each time that you, um, it, it'll work for, for Apple or for Android. It'll work for everything, I believe. Um, there's a link from the article to the, the page on Scarlet Quince. Now it's not terribly user friendly. They're still ironing out some of the kinks on that, but the gist of it is that if you bought a pattern, if you bought a Scarlet Quince pattern, either from them or even from another store like Amazon or something else, uh, you can always email them and say, Hey, I, you know, I'm this person, I've ordered this piece from Amazon or what, and they'll figure it out and they'll send you a special code that you use to access the app. And basically you're sort of, I want to say you're just pulling it up from the website 
and it will save your progress. I haven't, I pulled it up, but I haven't started stitching on it yet. I, uh, I definitely need to do that, but I was able to load up the, uh, both of my patterns that I have with Scarlet Quince, and hopefully that's going to speed up that transition. I just need to pull it out, and what, the next time I go to stitch one of these, pull it out and uh, really kind of get at it. But there's, like I said, there's an article down below that goes into it a lot more, and then that links to the Scarlet Quince page that goes even into even more depth. And they are very responsive to emails. Um, they got back to me within a day, I believe, when I emailed them about getting a code. But it's really cool. And who knows? Maybe that's the gist. Maybe that's where things are going. I mean, Pattern Keeper is fantastic. But you might see a site like Golden Kite or whatnot that will actually do um, their own app uh, just to, um, I don't know, maybe keep it proprietal. Maybe not share their patterns with everybody. I, I don't really know exactly what the what the holdup is with some of these things. But I know with Golden Kite, just like with Scarlet Quince, there's a lot of blended thread projects. And that can be difficult for Pattern Keeper right now to pick up on. It usually asks for you to uh, input which threads are being blended and, and, and it goes from there. But that's pretty much it. Um, take a look and see if there's anything that I'm missing from the blog that you think that I should add, let me know. I'm gonna just add some stuff. I just wanna make it like a fun crafting resource center. Like I'm not I'm not gonna tell you how to knit. I don't know how to knit. I'm not, I, try, I tried knitting in the past. I took a knitting class. It just didn't stick. I just, I went back to cross stitching and that's what I stuck with. Um, but I can show you guys somebody who can teach you how to knit. And I can show you a dozen other stores where you can buy knitting supplies. Or maybe you want to take an online course in how to, you know, knit a really cool blues robe or something. Uh, but anyway, so that's pretty much it. We're going to the blues game tomorrow night, which I'm very excited about. And otherwise, I am just going to kind of relax all the rest of the day. I'm not sure what we're going to do for the featured piece of the week. Oh, yeah, for those of you guys who did win something. I have gotten all your emails and I am sending those along. I got a little sidetracked at the post office and I need to get back in there and get that done. Was there another giveaway I was supposed to do? <laughs> Did I say there was? If there's a if if I if I forgot to get that done before this video, I will put I will go and look and see who was supposed to win and I will put that down below as well. And I'll make an announcement about that as well. I'm th sitting here thinking that maybe I had one more giveaway that I put out there last week. I think I did, didn't I? I think I did. All right, I won't announce it now, but I will put it down down below. And then I will put another announcement out on my channel so for you guys to see. And I think that's it. All right, I got to get back to stitching and relaxing. And it's all good. Have a great rest of the first week of the year. And I hope you guys are having fun stitching. If there's anything I can do to help you out with that, let me know. Check out the blog. And I'll see you guys next time.